I don't know about you, but when it comes to Walmart versus Target, that is such a hard choice for me because I love them both for different reasons. So I thought we could do something a little different and something kind of fun today. I'm at Target right now. I'm gonna do a little shopping. Let's see what they got. And then we're gonna hit up Walmart next and let's see who won at least for today. Like I said, I love Target, I love Walmart. I love them for completely different reasons. But I will say, Target, they're getting a little crazy with the prices. I actually came to Target a few weeks ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that trip and I was blown away, not in a good way, with how expensive everything has gotten there. Like, especially their home stuff. It's ridiculous. And more and more over the last few years, I have been shopping at Walmart more and more, especially online. Their online is seriously amazing, but I thought we could do a little Walmart versus Target challenge today. So let's go see what they've got and let's see who wins, at least for today. I always like to stop at the candle section just to see what they've got in stock. I actually recently got one of these but it doesn't look like they have it in i might go ahead and get this lavender one today to check it out but they do have a nice selection of candles and i do like their jars. i have definitely purchased lamps from target over the years i actually have these and i think the price is amazing i have two of these in um like by the stairs and they're only 40 bucks plus around 20 bucks for the shade I'm actually really liking this one right here, which is also $40, but I would need two and they only have one. But I do like that one. This is a cute art set. You get two pieces and it is $80. It's a decent size. They're 24 by 30. And that is a cute like verbiage. And then this one I really like as well. And it is $70 and it is a 50 by like 27. I would actually get two of these and hang them like next to each other, maybe even three in like an entryway. That would be really, really nice. Stephanie's not that bad, but I definitely feel like the prices have gone up here. If you have a little more like boho style, this set is really, really cute. And they are also 24 by 30 and it's 75 for the two piece. I actually saw these last time and I do kind of like these. It's very just simple, very minimalist, and it looks like it's $45. And this is a good, this is actually not that bad though. I kind of like this one. I'm just not sure where I would put it. Target always has really good trays. This is a good size and it's $30. This would be good on like an ottoman or even like for a breakfast table, you could put like your condiments and stuff like that there or decorated a little bit. I think that one's really nice. Here's another one here, but it's like the kind of stick material. And this one is, there is not a price on it. Probably around 30, 35 bucks. There's some more down here as well. That's cute. It's kind of small, but it's cute. And then lots of greenery happening. They always have really, really good home stuff. Like look at all the stuff here. Even these like little accent pieces right here to decorate for shelves. This is nice. Oh, this is heavy really really heavy oh and i actually saw these last time these are those like oversized beads they are 30 dollars, and you just kind of lay them on a tray or something those are really nice okay this i really love i love the texture and then of course you've got a little like really really light tray it is 35 dollars. it's not as large as the other trays hopefully you can kind of see the size but it's really nice they've got a lot of spring stuff like look at the texture in these pillows these are really nice as well it's like a thicker texture and you've got these a lighter linen and then look at all this they definitely have a lot of good easter and spring options lots of greenery as well i actually have one of these uh, faux orchids i highly recommend it they have some super cute Easter decor and these are definitely coming home with me. I love Easter decor, but I don't like it to be like, I don't know, crazy. And these are really, really nice. These are $20. And let's see if this one's $20. Yes, $20. Aren't those so cute? I feel like they're 
like a sophisticated way to decorate for Easter. Okay, I don't really have a spot for these, but I definitely felt like they were worth sharing. If you have an office space and you're going for kind of like a unisex or a masculine look, these are really, really cute. Or even like a, a, a kid room, I really like those. Look at all this. These are cute too. I like these a lot. When it comes to entertaining pieces, it's really hard to beat Target. Like, look at this piece. This is incredible. This would make an awesome, like, cheese board for entertaining. And then look at this. Oh, I love this stuff. This is pretty. Okay, I actually saw this one last time I came, but it's definitely worth sharing again. This one is new, though. If you do deviled eggs, this is a really good way to serve them. Here are some other like cheese tray charcuterie options. I like these a lot. I love the mixed marble. And I know I showed these last time, but since I showed the other like office decor pieces, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys these because this is another good um, alternative. I think they're so cute. These are like 10, 11 bucks. They also come in gray. I love this look. I think it's really, really nice. Okay, let's see what they have clothing wise. I will say when I came here a couple of weeks ago, there was literally not one thing clothing wise that I wanted to try on. And I'm not seeing a whole lot here right now. I feel like Target has been struggling when it comes to the clothing. I just don't really see anything that I like. Let's see what's over here. Anything good? I don't see anything so far. Ooh, these rings are kind of cute. Let's see what they have. Let's see earrings. Ooh, those are some cute hoops right there. One area that I will say Target does a really good job is their graphic tees. They do have some good graphic tees. I have a few of these. I have that one. I have several. So they've got a little bit of everything. And it looks like they even have some sweatshirts and joggers. Okay, I really like this print, but I do not like this like texture situation happening right there. I don't like that part, but I like the print. And I like this print too. That's a nice print. Let's see. Let's look at the price on this, $30. Not bad. I like it, I like it. Okay, jeans, don't love that detail. Mm, no. That's kind of cute. I do like this. I like the, the like eyelet detail. This one is also $30. I do like this. This would be nice for Easter. I wish it came in lighter, more pastel -y colors. Okay, very boho vibes. Not mad at it, but very boho vibes. This is totally giving me Free People vibes, like even just the material. It's a little bit thinner than most Free People. This one's also $30, but I like the detail on it. And it looks like they have, oh, and then that one's a different neckline, but it's similar. Oops, sorry. Okay, but I do like this one. I think this is really cute, actually. I could see this styled a few different ways. I could see it with like um, denim shorts kind of tucked in but then also like jeans for now for the fall with like some boots and booties. This would be cute for the rodeo. Okay, the concept of this dress is not bad at all, but this is not a good fabric for this style because it's not gonna lay on the body really nicely. Good concept, bad fabric. And I am definitely noticing these like longer dresses. They're holding on to this, you guys. And don't get me wrong, I love a good long maxi dress. They're good and all, but not everything, like this print is really, really pretty. Love that print actually. Okay, what is this? It's like a quilt sweater. What is this? No. Okay, I spy something that is super cute. You guys know that I love a good oversized sweater. And this one, oh, it's so good. I really like that. It looks like it comes in I've got in a gray too, and they have it in a small. Should I get it? I really like that. Okay, so I only ended up buying the two 
wooden bunnies for Easter decor. I just thought they were so, so cute. I wasn't impressed with the clothing stuff again. If you guys watch, follow me on Instagram and watch that, I kind of mentioned that last time. I'm not loving the vibes. They've got two vibes kind of going on. They've got very like 90s, like neon type of things. And then they have like very matronly type of looks. And I feel like it's like one or the other. And then plus like the classic Target stuff, which is like, they always have like the graphic tees and the graphic stuff and like all that stuff. The only thing I did like was I did like that one jogger top. Didn't grab it just because I don't know. I, I kind of would would have liked that style in like a, a medium, and they only had one gray and a small, and then they had that like that other color. But I just decided not to get it. Plus, I the boys actually have dentist appointments today, so as much as I would love to just hang out for hours in Target, I just can't today. So let's go hit up Walmart and see what they've got. I will say, love Target's home stuff. They always have really good holiday decor options. However when it comes to places like like target i feel like it's very easy to fall into buying a lot of that stuff and then when you get it into your home it can feel very tchotchke-esque hopefully that makes sense to you guys so when you're shopping for home decor i always recommend taking it away from the display that they have it on and looking at it sitting in your basket or take it to another section and really, really look at it and imagine the size and the, the proportions and all that and imagine that in your decor. Because I feel like when you've got this whole display of everything, it's so easy to be like, oh, I love it, I love it. And then you put it in your home and it starts to feel like, like I said, like a tchotchke. And um, that's what you want to avoid. I mean, unless some people like that look and I think that's fine. I prefer a little bit more of like a cleaner look when it comes to decor, even when it comes to holiday stuff. I really, like, I don't know about you guys, but after about, a, a, I don't know, three weeks or so of Christmas decor, I start to feel claustrophobic. I start to get like a little bit claustrophobic with everything, just like being in my house. It makes it me feel like it's like taking up my, my, just, I don't know, it just feels like it's all over me. <laughs> I just need it off. So that's why I usually don't decorate a lot for other holidays. However, I do have a few Easter decor pieces that I love. So those are perfect. And those are gonna go really, really well. Just like put them in a random spot of the house just to give a little Easter touch, but nothing too crazy or too much. But anyways, Target was good, but not great. I would give it a six out of 10. Let's, let's give it a six out of 10. Let's go hit up Walmart and let's see how it does. Okay, Walmart is changing things up around here. They've got some TVs, a little home decor, and some clothing all in the home section. What's going on, Walmart? I, oh, getting ready for the rodeo. Okay, let's go check out the home stuff. I will say, I don't think Walmart has as much home options, like home decor options in store as Target, but I do think their prices are a lot better. Let's see what we got. Okay, lamp bases. As you can see, they don't have as many to choose from, but these are cute. And it looks like, I'm not sure, it looks like it's $39, $40, so actually the same price. And then they've also got the um, shades for about, a little over, about 20, about 20 bucks. So same price as Target, just not as many options. Target might be winning in the lamp category, but I do actually like that one. Okay, these are really cute and they are fake, but they're actually kind of a nice um, quality. How much are they? I don't see a price, do you? I don't see a price on these, but those are really nice. You've also got these. These would be good if, like on a desk or something. You've got, oops, sorry. You've got some of these um, and then a little, a little wicker basket action. Those are cute, but I actually think I like this one the best. I always like looking at Walmart's throw pillows. They don't have as many as Target, but I do think they have really good ones. Like I have these and I love them. These are kind of nice. I like this um, like texture. Ooh, that's a nice one. Actually, sorry, I actually really like this one. That's really nice, has a nice texture. Let me pick that up. I don't even know where that belongs. I think it's just like, but let's see. Um, I have a couple of those in a different color and I really like those as well. But 
Yeah, they don't have as many, but they do have some cute options. When it comes to candles, you can't beat Walmart. Sorry. Walmart has the best candles. Like they honestly really do. If I like had to buy candles from one place, it would probably be Walmart. I really, really love them. Let me see if I can find the one that I'm currently burning. Um, my husband got it from here. For me, it's one of these Woodwick ones. Let me see, I don't think they have it. Mm, yeah, but all of these are good. The Woodwick ones are really good and they give off like this like flicker. So they kind of create like a, a vibe, but all of these, they have a really good throw. But let me show you one of my favorite things when it comes to home scents for Walmart. It is these plugins. Oh my goodness, they are selling out, but it's in this, this scent right here, the pumpkin chai. It is so, so good. And then you can just get one of these like really, really affordable like wall plugins. Where are they? It's like these, like these right here. Um, you can get one of those. And I love, I love the pumpkin chai and the, um, right here, this one, the sliced apple cinnamon. Those smell really good. They give a really nice throw as well. I love using lanterns um, for decoration. And this set right here, they're so cute. You got three different sizes. The large one is 27, the medium one is 23, and the small is 17. That's not bad at all. These are really nice. And what I love about them is you can leave them out year round, but then you can put seasonal items in them during the holidays for like each like holiday or season. I think these are really, really nice. I have some of these and some of these that I use. I also like these right here, but I think I like these the best. When it comes to just like regular decor, Walmart doesn't have a lot of options, but I thought this plant was really cute actually. I love this. It's really clean looking, right? Let's see how much it is. Cause I think I'm gonna grab this one. I don't have a special spot for it, but um, but I think it would just be nice to have. Um, so I'm gonna grab that one for sure. And then let's see what else do they have. Yeah, they really don't have a lot to be honest. Okay, let's see what they've got as far as Easter decor. These are kind of cute for the front door. I kind of like this. I like it, it's clean and simple. You've got the basket option. And then this one with the ears for 17 bucks. That's not bad at all. Those are actually really cute. We have a few more options, just like spring related. These are cute. Oh, the jars are cute. Look at these. These would be good for like a teacher. You could do like pens, pencils, or even like pasta. Oh, look at these. So they definitely have options, but, and the prices are amazing. Like this right here, this is a large um, like canister and it's only $8. That's a good price. That's a really good price. This one's only $6. Okay, when it comes to teacher gifts though, I love Walmart for teacher gifts. I think these are so cute. That's adorable. And then look at the egg one. Okay, that's adorable. That's so cute. And six bucks, six bucks, love it. Look at these over here. Okay, these, oh my goodness, how much is this? Six bucks. We've got pink, yellow, and blue, and they're like super lightweight. This is adorable, I love these. You do have some ceramic ones, so these are gonna be glass. But these are only $5. Oh my goodness, should I get these? Oh, I really like these. Okay, I think I'm gonna get these. So that's five bucks, you guys. That's amazing. And then they have this one. Okay, now you guys have to let me know. Do you like the ceramic ones or the wood ones better? Those are so cute. I gotta get those. Oh, look. <laughs> look, at, look at these. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. And then look, the money is like laying. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Oh, now that's adorable. $12. Okay, these are so cute. I feel like I should get a couple of these. This is really cute too. I think you hang this on like a door. 
That's adorable. Looks like they have a couple of different options for $9. I like those. I love the straw texture for Easter. I just think it's really fun. Okay, those are adorable. You could hang these, put the art, put these in like a bowl or something. They've got stripes and polka dots. I don't know, you guys. I think Walmart is winning the Easter decor category. I think there's so many cute things here. Oh my goodness, I just noticed these. If you do black and white, these are so cute. For $7, you've got a polka dot and then a stripe. Ah, oh, those are adorable. And here's a little more like black and white decor. So cute. Okay, let's check out and see what Walmart has as far as clothing goes. I know we're going into spring and summer, but this is really cute. I actually really like that if it was like kind of oversized with just like leggings and flats. I think that's really cute. What's this? A little oversized hoodie, kind of like a little closet essential basic. I also like this. It's kind of like a dressier top, nice like woven material. That's really nice too. And that is only 15 bucks. I always love Walmart when it comes to basic tees. And this is that like super soft flowy material. You've got it in all the perfect pastels for Easter and then they even have some tie dye this year. Really cute. Okay, this cardigan's really cute. Look at the texture, the marbled color, oversized buttons. I like this. Okay, this gingham caught my eye. How cute is this? Kind of like a, what is this called? Oh, I cannot think of the name. I love it though. I love the pink gingham. And then you've got this right here. These are cute. I think these are cute. The material is nice, but I think I like the pink one the best. Okay. I gotta be honest. It looks like these are some Easter dress options and the quality is not, not good. Don't love that. Not loving this. Let's see if we can find some good Easter dress options. They gotta have something here. Okay. No Easter dress options yet, but this top is actually really cute and there's some bottom options but that top is really cute you could do it with like a solid white or a solid black bottom or even like a solid pink like kind of corally color if you want to kind of do your own but i think the silhouette of this is really cute okay not specifically for easter but these are good just like casual like chino short i like these i think these are really cute and i feel like they would be really comfortable they're like a nice linen material they come in this khaki and this green and then you've got a lot of oh these are kind of cute too i like those and then we have these chinos over here i don't think i like this style very much but i definitely like these and i really like these it looks like they also come in maybe like a chambray and pink oh these might be my favorite and they're only 16 bucks that material is actually really really nice okay i wasn't expecting to walk by this how cute is this for organizing like bracelets or watches? You can even put like earrings and stuff down here. That's adorable. I wish I would have brought a tripod because I kind of want to set you guys down to show you what I got. But basically I ended up spending $44 at Target. I got those two wooden bunnies for Easter. And then I spent $26 at Walmart and I got two bunnies and that topiary plant. These little Easter bunnies were five bucks, you guys. Like, aren't they so cute? I think these are very classic. Oh, you can't really see the sun is kind of still glaring, but very, very classic Easter decor. So I spent almost double at Target and I got less amount of items. Like I said, I love Target. I love Walmart. I just love them for different reasons. Obviously, Target has a lot more to choose from in store but you can't beat Walmart prices, let's be honest. So let me know, who do you guys think won in today's challenge, Walmart versus Target, from what you saw today and from what I bought today? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I gotta head home because I've got some things that I need to wrap up for work. And then, like I said, I've gotta pick up the boys early today. They have dentist appointments, so I've gotta go pick them up. They've gotta get their braces 
um, you know, their monthly checkup for their braces. So we got to do that. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. Make sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. Um, I do fashion, luxury, and lifestyle videos here. So stick around for the next one. But before you head out, make sure to watch one of these and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.